Hey everyone, Melissa here. And this is the end of, what the heck week are we in? Week six, I'm losing it, man. Week six, week seven. Doesn't matter about the program because our first 5K is actually next weekend. So today is Friday and not this Sunday, but next Sunday is our 5K. So today's workout at the end of the week was the five minute warm up five minute cool down and a 22 minute jog. And I did it. I had a good pace in the beginning, but the second half I was pretty slow. He was way ahead of me. <laughs> and uh, I started feeling a little like down from it, but you know, I just wanted to talk about that and say, I'm not perfect, all right? So this is a journey and I know I'm saying I'm not stopping and I didn't stop, but at the same time, I, I really kind of almost broke down and started crying because he was like way ahead of me and I was way in the back. And um, our last workout, Wednesday's workout, was the warm up, 10 minutes of jogging, three minutes of walking, 10 minutes of jogging. And my pace for that was fantastic. We ran over two miles in those 20 minutes. We had a um, 12, about a 12 minute um, mile pace. And then today, doing the straight 22 minutes, I had a really sucky pace of 17 minute mile. And okay, that's not horrible. I still ran it, but I really feel a little depressed about that so to have it change so dramatically when even during like our 20 minute runs we were doing about a 14 minute so I'm trying <laughs> to get over the fact that that was pretty slow and I'm just going to kind of make sure there's no bikers behind me but um, I was feeling a little depressed about that but I have to just keep remember that this is a process and you know two months ago I was just walking you know and and so <clears throat> running anything I just ran for 22 minutes nonstop, and that's huge so no matter how down you get about your pace if your husband's faster than you if you see other people passing you you got to try to let it go and you got to try to remember that you're running <laughs> And that's something that I've never, ever done before. So what we're going to do this weekend is we're doing a practice 5K. I know all of next week's workouts are all the same. They're all the five-minute warm-up, 25 minutes of running, and then the five-minute cool-down. So we have that all, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday before our 5K. But this weekend, we think we're going to do it on Sunday. We're going to get out here and use a different app. And thankfully, the bike path that we're on, this gorgeous bike path here in our hometown, which is Clarence, um, has mile markers all along it. So all I have to do is, instead of running 3.1, we're going to run 1.6 and turn around and come right back. So we'll actually do 5.2. So we're practicing it. And I think I'm really going to go ahead and try what I've been reading. I've been reading blogs and on Pinterest and looking at you know, people's recommendations and such. And the one thing that I'm definitely noticing is if I do those little walks in between, my pace is a lot faster. So, you know, the other day workout, it was like a 12.35 mile, you know, pace and um, per minute. And I really want to try to get to that again. So when we do our practice 5K, we already talked about it and said that we'll probably do about 10 minutes of running and like a one or two minutes of walking and then 10 minutes of running. I think that little bit of walking in between is really gonna help me with finishing this because we're doing the 5K before we even finish the Couch to 5K program. So, you know, the 5K comes when there's still about two weeks left. So <laughs> we're like jumping ahead. <laughs> and once we're done with this, we are gonna go ahead and start using the 5K to 10K because I really want to do our turkey trot, which is eight miles. So that's going to be my next thing to try to train for and just work on speed and work on that distance. But see now, look how far ahead he is right now. See that? 
that's where he was during the run when I was like, oh my God, he's leaving me. So I have my issues. I ain't perfect by any means, but you know, like I said, I still ran it no matter what. And I'm going to run it and I'm going to practice that 5K so that way I can do it. And I have no problems with walking during the 5K. As long as it's a power walk, I'm going to be like this. And we notice that our fast power walk is the same as our jog. But it just helps relieve those muscles for a few seconds and give you that spurt. So it lets you just and get right back into your pace. So that's what we're going to do and probably do for the 5K. And the other thing I want to do for the actual 5K that we're running is I do want to record during it. Not the entire 5K, but I'm going to probably end up having to bring our digital camera or put an app on my phone that will let me pause and record and pause and record and make one video instead of trying to figure out how to edit all these videos together. So if anyone knows of a good iPhone app that will let me do that, let me know because <laughs> I'm going to try to get something like that for it. So that way I can just do little spurts in between before, during and after and recording going over the finish line and all that fun stuff. So I will end up doing that. And I'll probably also do a video this weekend when we're practicing and let you know how we do with the practice. So I don't want to make this video too long. So I just wanted to say if you're out there and you're struggling and you slow down, don't worry about it. Just believe in yourself. Know that you can do it. Doesn't matter if you're slower than anybody else. You're not racing with other people. You're just racing for yourself and for your health. Forget everything else. Just envision that finish line and envisioning getting yourself there no matter how fast or how slow you're going. And you know, the only thing you have to defeat is that. You know you could do it here. And I just have to get to know that you could do it there. So I will see you all in a couple days. Love you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.